If you walked down Michigan Avenue, you know, pre-1998, you had essentially an abandoned railroad yard, and it was basically a gigantic hole in the ground. And eventually, what happened was the Illinois Central was purchased by Canadian National, and Canadian National agreed to return the land to the city of Chicago because of the tax benefit. And that is ultimately how the city gained control of it. And Mayor Richard M. Daly had a dentist's office that overlooked that portion of the park. He would come once or twice a year and see this, what he considered to be an open sore on Grant Park and wanted to find ways that they could complete Grant Park. Millennium Park was conceived as an idea that was the 2000 and the new millennia coming, but also basically it would be an economic engine, you know, for downtown Chicago. I was called down to the mayor's office on one day, and there's architects from Skidmore, and there's a model laying on the mayor's desk. The architect goes into this explanation of this model. It was basically like a continuation of Grant Park. It was tree-lined uh, sidewalks and flower beds. And I'm the guy that asked, you know, I said, do you have any idea what this thing's gonna cost? Do you have any idea? And there was this pause. He finally said, we estimate, you know, $150 million. At the beginning of the next week, we're gonna have a press conference to announce this. And sure enough, I mean, what does the press wanna know? Well, what is this thing gonna cost? And will the taxpayers be involved? Well, it's easy to answer, no, the taxpayers will not be involved in this. Uh, you know, they will not fund, fund this. The poor transportation secretary is up there. We put out the $150 million number, and that's where that became the benchmark for eternity and how much we were gonna be over that number. The city has a variety of different financing streams and tools that it can use to pay for urban infrastructures. First and foremost is just the, the property tax but Daly said he could not afford to use taxpayer money to build the park, that it would be political suicide for him to do that. My job was to figure out, you know, well, how do we fund it? Uh, how do we come up with the money for that? And I knew there was a parking garage that was going to be built under that. So the idea popped into my head that, okay, we'll do parking revenue bonds for it. I issued $150 million of revenue bonds later that year. Revenue bonds are a form of debt that the city issued, and to repay that debt, we take the revenues that are generated from the asset, and in this case, it was the parking revenues. People come in and pay their parking fee. That's all accumulated. Uh, we pay operating costs out of that, and then the net remaining is available for debt service. In order to get this them sold, I put you know, essentially called a limited a general obligation on them in order to get it rated and get the bond sold. but I had no idea how many parking spaces would be involved, what types of rates that we'd use, and put together some operating costs to see if I basically would generate enough uh, cash flow to pay for the debt service on $150 million in revenue bonds. And of course, the cost, the cost increased. The wonderful Harris Theater was brought in. So I lost 20% of the parking spaces. So uh, basically we became you know, kind of tight. So I came back and my first thing was to issue what I thought was an additional capacity, these same revenue bonds. We did another $40 million of, of revenue bonds to handle this additional cost. So that's the evolution of essentially the first phase of the financing, what we had to do in order to deal with the costs of Millennium Park. 